Ripley is a one-inch long female jewel wasp. The jewel wasp is common in South Asia and Africa and vital to the planet's ecosystem. But Chester's wasps are in danger of being wiped out. It's definitely male. Mm -hmm. um. At the minute, we don't have very many female wasps at all. We probably have about five or six females to over 100 males. If we're not able to breed any more females, it means we're just left with males, and unfortunately, the population would eventually die out. But in order for Ripley to breed female offspring and save the community from extinction, she needs an unsuspecting victim. The jewel wasp is a parasitoid species. Which means that they will find a host and they will lay an egg onto a host. In this case, it's a cockroach. And then they will use this cockroach to rear their babies. When it hatches, Ripley's larva will eat its cockroach host alive. Just feed on the outside for a bit, burrow in, continue feeding while the cockroach is still moving and wriggling around. We've selected a new cockroach that we have named Carl. Carl's a perfect specimen, he's nice and big, so we're hoping that he is, he is the one. Do it. Usually, jewel wasps go for it straight away if they're interested, so we'd know, like, as soon as we put it in, she's on it. If she feels the smell of, of Carl, she will grab, uh, grab him by, uh, by the neck. Grab it. Oh, oh good. She's got one. It's fun on quite a fire. Yeah, <laughs> The average cockroach is twice the size of a jewel wasp, so Ripley must rely on stinging Carl with a powerful venom. Strong. Yeah. Mm. Ripley stung him right under his head. This helps to paralyze him so he can't escape. Ripley's venom blocks a neurotransmitter in Carl's brain keeping him alive, but making him sluggish and slow moving. When Ripley stings Carl, she basically just turns him into a zombie. She stung him for a second time and then began to cut off his antenna. The wasp will cut off the cockroach's antenna as a way of limiting any chance they could escape. There will be small droplets of blood of Carl coming out at the end of, of the antenna. And yeah, Ripley will be drinking that. That will be the refreshment drink for her. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> she's gonna drag it. Yeah, yeah, she's dragging, she's just pulling it into the tube. And then she started to drag him into a burrow, which is a small little tube that we put in there just so we can see what they're doing. That's good. That's really good. Wild wasps tend to build their burrows underground. In her glass substitute, Ripley lays a single egg beside Carl's legs. Carl now has a little, little egg on him. Then out she comes, and then she just starts filling the burrow with rocks so that Carl can no longer get out, unfortunately. But a necessary evil to help the jewel wasp population expand and hopefully help us get more females. Ripley's jewel wasp larva has hatched. It's bad news for cockroach host Carl. 
Carl is alive, but he's not really himself anymore. He just exists to feed Ripley's baby, really. The larva will feed on Carl's surface for a couple of days. And then it'll start to burrow into Carl and start eating all the least essential organs first, just because it wants to keep its zombie host alive for as long as possible. Everybody likes fresh food. Inside Carl, the larva enters the pupa stage, starting its transformation into a wasp. Carl dies, it just pupates inside him and hatches out, bursts out the uh, dead cockroach. Do you actually not feel a bit sorry for the cockroach? A little bit sorry for them, but then I see the wasps and, yeah. I feel like, well, they, they need to reproduce somehow. Back at the insect house, where there's a shortage of female jewel wasps, keepers are hoping a girl will emerge from the corpse of Carl the cockroach to save their colony. At 3.10 p.m., jewel wasp Ripley's child is born, weighing a healthy 0.7 grams. Out of Carl's abdomen comes a full adult wasp, alien style. <laughs> the question now, is the wasp a boy or a girl? It's a female. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. You can tell the females have very pointed abdomens. The team have already named their new female. She could be a parent herself within weeks. Jewel wasps are really good parents. They are here for hundreds of millions of years and they will be here after us, I'm sure. 